Oh, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my Christmas countdown. This is basically I do a car build every day up to Christmas, and I will do a car build on Christmas Day as well, hopefully, um, if I get time to make one. Um, but this is on the run up to Christmas. Uh, basically, leave a comment below what car you want to see in tomorrow's episode. It can be any car, um, any car that you can convert to a real wheel drive. But also, leave a theme with it um, on this car that I am going to be choosing today. Um, they've put a nice theme. Um, I need to find out what it is, but because it's completely slipped my mind. Uh, but I'll find that out. But leave a comment below with what car and what theme. So say if you want it race spec, put race spec. If you want it slammed, put slammed. If you if you want it to look a certain way, uh, write that with what car you want it. Um, with what car you want it to be. Okay, I spat that out. It's fine. I got it. <laughs> okay, so. Now on to the next bit, uh, basically on the last video the most uprated comment was from Safari Cats and basically said Nissan Fairlady 432Z 1969, a very nice car um, and they put the theme as basically a rust bucket slammed. Okay so this could be a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Um, we're going to have to try and look for a, a paint or a downloaded kind of paint. Unless there is a, a rust on here, but I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look for that. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so this is the car we're going with. Nissan Fairlady said 432, the 1969 um, year. So, should we go with the orange colour? It's kind of rice, um, rice? <laughs> rust bucket. Uh, but if we search here, uh, we can put in the description... If we type rust, hopefully someone in the world has made rust onto this car. I know it's a little bit unique, but you never know, huh? You never know. And I don't think... I don't think anything has matched, so that's not good. Um, so I might have to do a little bit of painting myself here. I'll do it off camera, but um, let's just type in slam to see what comes up. Because obviously they wanted it a slammed theme, so yeah, I don't, I don't think the database thing is kind of working. So let's have ah, oh, is that rust? That could be rust. That is rust. Oh my god! I know it's not pure rust, like a rust bucket, like he wanted. But in terms of this car, I think that's going to be the best paint job we're going to get. To be honest, it's got a rust feel to it. It looks dirty. Um, yes. Look at that! That is what was aiming for! Wow! Okay, so it saves me painting a car. So it's not pure rust bucket, but that is... There's rust, okay? There's rust involved. <laughs> and it looks kind of swaggy with the rust. I don't know how that makes sense, but it looks different. So, we've done that. We want to leave the auto show. Of course we do. Yeah, buddy! Alright, so we can see the rust there happening. Um, I don't know if that's rust or it's meant to be dirt, but I'm, I'm saying it's rust. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into the upgrades. I'm tempted in these builds just to stick with stock engines and just see how the car performs with the stock engines. Because obviously we can throw in that engine, which is the RB, and it would perform amazing. Uh, we can throw in a V8, which would be very nice. Uh, but should we stick with stock engines? Do you reckon that's a good rule? I think that's a good rule. Yeah, try and get the cars performing with a stock engine. That'd be quite fun. Okay. So stock aspiration. Um, what's the weight? The weight of this car is... N <laughs> this could be so light. Like like the Nissan GTR uh, in the last episode. If you haven't checked that out, I would check that out. Because that's an amazing car. Um, like the Nissan GTR, this is going to be very, very light. Um, so I'm not going to put a single turbocharger. Because I think that would be a bit too much power. But... Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some nice body kits for this. Okay. What do we want? So that's stock. Uh, it's got a little light on the front. I kind of like that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. But that is a race bumper. Oh, you can remove the bumper. Okay. Should we remove that little... Yes, because it's a rust bucket. Bits are falling off it. Yeah, let's take it off. Let's remove that. Okay. Wing. A uh, little Forza uh, wing. We don't need that. 
Okay, rear bumper. Should we remove that as well? Oi, those mud flaps are terrible. <laughs> I was gonna say they're sick, but it's just slow I just slowly realised that they look bad. Um Let's remove that, because obviously rust bucket, removing parts to try and fix this up. Yeah. <laughs> Work in progress. Oh my god, you could do these. You could put fenders on. Oh wow. That is happening, because we've got so much rust on the arch, we've had to cover it up with fenders, huh? Yeah. Rust bucket machine. Okay, I missed the bonnet. Uh, let's get the bonnet. Um, let's not do that. We don't want a rally kind of car. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So that's the visuals done. Okay, tyres. I'm going to stick stock tyres on there. Um, really thin tyres. More, f even thinner than the than the Nissan GTR. So we're going two two fives on the front, and on the rear, two three fives. Okay, that's fine. Okay, rims. Um, it's a sort of rust bucket slam. So let's try and go seen. Let's try and get some. Let's try and get some dish involved, maybe or something like that. Uh, but I can't spin my camera because my controller's not working. Why do you do this? Um, so let's try and get some nice wheels on this. Uh, try and visualize some dish in here. Okay, what the fuck were they? Let's not do them. Um, there's going to be some good ones coming up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be happy. Okay, it's really hard to see the actual rim. TE37s do not suit that at all. Oh, this is going to be a little bit of a struggle here. I don't know what to go for. Okay, let's just take a stab in the dark here. Um, obviously, I can't change my camera, which is really annoying. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to go for these rims. You can hardly see. The light is a little bit hard there. Um, but let's just take a stab in the dark and go for those. I think they're going to look okay. Um, let's just make... Okay, there's some dish on those, actually. That's okay. Uh, oh, my God. You can have a... What? There's not even a tile wall. Like, <laughs> why? Why you do this? Okay, let's go 16 inch, uh, shall we? I kind of want a little bit more. Yeah, let's let's go 16 inch. It's not too much, and it's not too little. Uh, it's got quite a bit of rim there, but it's not too much. Kind of subtle. Uh, so let's just go with the 16 inch rims. There we go. That looks swag. This car is going to look absolutely on point. Okay, so we're onto the drivetrain. Everything in this section is going to be race. So just quickly just speed through and do that. Uh, one thing about this game... Obviously, having the option to put fenders on a car, and look how much offset the car has. It has zero. It's probably in the minus figures. Like, if you just had the option to adjust offset, how amazing would this be? Like, if I could adjust the rear offset to fill out those fenders, I would, I'd be in heaven right now, but you can't do that. Um, so, now we're onto platform and handling. Let's do race brakes. That's fine. And here we go. Let's put some race suspension on this. There we go, that's got really low. It's got low, bro. Okay, well, what? <laughs> okay, race anti roll bars. Slap these on. Uh, I think I'm going to cage for this. I think it's going to look absolutely insane with a cage. Yep. Uh, so let's chuck that in. Uh, weight, uh, weight reduction. Uh, we're just above 1000 kilo. After weight reduction, we're in nearly under 900. That is insane. That is in incredibly light. Incredibly light. Um, so yeah, there we go. We've got a nice rust look to the car. It's looking pretty swaggy. I like it. Um, if we could fill out... Uh, I can't even speak today. I'm so sorry. Uh, if we could fill out those fenders, it would help. But there's no option to do that. So unfortunately... We're not going to be able to do that. So I've chucked on race air filter and race um, exhaust. I'm chucking on race cams as well. Um, I'm tempted to do this like the GTI. If I go to about 350, uh, slap every upgrade on I can. It should end up about uh, 350 horsepower. I'm sorry, to that. I don't know what it is with me today. I just can't seem to speak. Uh, I don't think having this cold helps because I can't breathe. <laughs> It's not good being out, uh, not being able to breathe. Uh, so we've already done piston, pistons and compressions. Uh, com the engine block, uh, 277 horsepower. 
Uh, so I think I'm just going to do everything race. It should get me up to uh, the mid 300s on horsepower, hopefully, uh, if this engine is capable. So 305 horsepower there. Um, what's this? Carburetor. 323. Pretty nice. We're pushing it up. So the last upgrade, 339 horsepower. So it's just below the 350s. Um, so that is pretty sick. So that's all the upgrades. Everything race in the engine. Um, in platform and handling, everything racing there as well. And everything racing drivetrain. A few changes in tyres, so you might want to check those out. Error and appearance. How, make it how you want to look. Um, or if you want it to look like this, just download this off the storefront, which I will be putting up on later. Okay. So that's that. Let's jump into free roam. Let's try and get this car sliding. Okay, so we're into free roam. It's raining once again. This game, like whenever I play it, it rains. I don't understand. Uh, but it feels like it's got enough power to spin up these wheels. Um, drifting in gear 2, which is pretty weird. I don't like drifting in gear 2. Uh, but we're doing a little bit too fast for gear 2, to be honest. So let's just change the gearing straight up. Uh, where's the gearing gone? Here we go. Uh, let's make it a lot shorter, which is the other way. Uh, let's go to about... Let's just go to 4.5 for now. Uh, that should be enough. Okay, so I want to head to a section. Uh, if we head over this way... I think this is the best way to go, to be honest. Um, yes, it is. Uh, this will be the same section as I've done... Um, last episode, so very nice section, nice fast corners. Um, wow, okay, that didn't want to hold. Uh, very fast corners, uh, there's some tight corners in as well, just to test out the gearing, acceleration, and stuff like that. But wow, this car is very loose on the rear, very, very loose. Okay, we got it sliding a little bit though. Uh, I don't think the rain is helping, but. We always have to have rain in these episodes for some reason. The rain just won't go away. Okay. Let's jump into the tune and let's just put a little bass tune on this. Let the bass drop, huh? Okay. Let's drop this right down. My wheel felt really loose. So I think I need a little bit more grip in the front tyres. So let's take that down. Uh, I'm going to take down the PSI in the rears. Just a tiny smidgen. Because um, that felt very loose. Okay, camber. Let's try and camber this up. Um, let's try and go a little bit more camber in the rear as normal. Uh, let's try that. Obviously, if it feels a little bit weird, we can go a bit more in the rear. Um, car slit's got to 5.5. Anti-roll bars. I'm just going to take the rear up a tiny bit. Springs. Very soft. I don't like my cars this soft, so I'm just going to change mine. But if you like your car soft, just leave it how it is. Um, it should be fine. So, there we go go that should be about fine right height all the way to the bottom damping let's take up the front a tiny bit uh, bump stiffness we can go down a smidge in the rear as well okay 100% on the differential and that's just the bass tune there um, hopefully the rain has stopped uh, or it's going to stop pretty soon but it probably won't do because it sucks balls and it likes to terrorise me. Okay, the rear is feeling a lot more stable than it was. It doesn't feel absolutely perfect at the moment, but it's feeling a lot better than it was. Okay, that was a nice transition. Oh, shit! Fuck it, take out the barriers. No one cares. Who fuck pedestrians? Okay. Let's get into this corner then. Okay, that felt a lot better. 
Obviously it's not perfect. Um, I think the gearing has to go a lot longer. Uh, but for it to go longer, I need the tyres to spin up a little bit more. So I'm going to make the gearing longer. Uh, maybe went a bit too far with it. Uh, so let's just go to 4.2. And in the alignment, I'm just going to take the camber up 0.2 in both. Uh, which should kind of counteract that. Okay. So let's try and go with this. Obviously we are in the rain, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit more uh, slippier than normal. So if I do overcorrect or over, uh, or the rear comes out too far, etc. Um, it is because of the rain, probably. Um, because the, the rain in this game is actually effective in terms of grip, uh, as you would expect. Oh, that car was close. Uh, but we're not doing too bad in this car. Uh, Gearing's feeling a lot better. We've got to see how it performs going into a tighter corner, but it's feeling, it's feeling fine. Uh, it's feeling enough grip in the front, about perfect in the front. Uh, the wheels performing how every other car should. Um, got the power to push it out wide to, to the edge of the track there, or road. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's all looking pretty gravy in this car at the moment. Um, gearing's not struggling at all. I think I've hit the gearing on the on the spot here. Engine sounds brilliant. Love it. So in the rain, that car did not struggle one little bit. I like that. So stable, especially for the rain. I should go with a spin. Why not? Why not? Let's spin. Come on, pick a car, pick a car. Oh, nearly got a Fiat 500. <laughs> 11,000 credits. Okay, let's go in with another run. Seeing as that's felt okay, I don't see, I don't see the point of making an adjustment when it feels okay. Okay, it feels very stable, especially for such a short wheelbase, very light car. It feels really stable for what it is. Uh, you can hold some very nice angle in it as well, which is pretty nice. Uh, it, still, it, seems, uh, it seems absolutely fine. Oh, shit! Just as I say that, I do that. Um, but it seems absolutely fine on transitions. Um, I think that was just me being a dirt then. That wasn't anything to do with the car itself. Okay, let's, let's get going again. Let's get back into a river. Okay, so the rain has disappeared. Obviously, there's still water on the road. Uh, but that is going to disappear slowly. Okay, so it enters corners very nice. Um, I think I've hit, this, hit the spot with this car at the moment. Gear 3 didn't struggle then. And that was a very slow corner for me. Um, just trying to test out different things here. Uh, threw it into that transition, it just took it so well, so I'm liking this car, I'm liking it. Uh, we've had three very, very, very similar cars, let's say, in a row. We've had the Alfa Romeo Spider, which is a little bit different. Um, it's not, in terms of wheelbase, I guess, uh, they're all pretty similar. Uh, we had the Alfa Romeo Spider, we had the Nissan GTR, like the old school one. Um, now we've had this, which is pretty similar to the Nissan GTR, kind of, um, in terms of size. Left. So all cars, were, in terms of size, were pretty similar, Turn which is wicked. When it is safe to do so. And now that it's dry, this car is even more stable. Incredibly stable, to be fair. Oh, that. wow. Get out of your way. So yeah, still no bogging down in gear 3, which is spot on. Okay, I started that far too early, that was my fault. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay, so this is feeling absolutely spot on. Liking this car. Yeah, that's fine. I'm liking that. So I'm going to leave this car here. I don't see the point of doing another run scene as I'm not going to change the car. Um, so if you want this tune, I'm going to upload it onto the storefront right now. So if you can't be bothered or you don't want to copy it down, um, feel free to just go onto the setup manager, go to load setup, and you will be able to find other people's um, tunes. 
Uh, I'm going to upload mine onto there. Uh, so let's do that right now. I'm just going to call it Drift. Uh, but if you search my gamer tag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube name, Driffy, that will do. Driffy, mate! So that is going to be uploaded right now. Uh, let's put it as Drift. Uh, best for handling. And there we go. So that is getting uploaded. Um, also, leave a comment below with what car you want to see next episode. Uh, this is coming along very well. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting my garage well populated with cars that I maybe wouldn't have used that are turning out to be little gems. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, give it a like. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.